guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this super festive Christmas look. Yes, it's going up on Christmas Eve, but, you know, some of us are procrastinators. So, I'm starting out by applying some concealer onto my lids just as a primer. I'm also starting to do a technique where I am carving out my eyebrow before filling it in, and later when I do fill in my eyebrows, it makes it easier and quicker just to kind of color them in. And then I'm just going to set all that in place with some MAC Studio Fix powder. Now I'm going to prime my nose with the MAC Skin Refine Zone treatment. Yes, it's blurry, what's new? But this just really helps fill in the pores and just kind of smooth everything out and make sure no oil seeps through. Then taking this green shade, it is shade number six from the NYX Air Palette, and I am using a Luxie blending brush to fluff this all into the crease and making sure that we get a good transition for the other green colors that we're going to put in the crease as well. And for those, I am taking the NYX Earth Palette, and I'm going to be taking shade number four, which is that dark forest green, and I'm taking a MAC 217, to put this in the outer corner and I'm also blending this in the bottom half of the crease. Now I'm taking Max Bottle Green on a flat packing brush, and this is just going to intensify that green color, make it just a little bit deeper, and make sure that the color is as pigmented as possible, because we did lose some pigmentation when blending it out earlier. Now I'm taking a MAC 242 in some Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm going to cut the crease in the inner two thirds of my eyelid because we are going to make this a different color. And I'm making sure that this is really crisp and clean because otherwise we are going to lose that cut crease effect since we aren't going all the way to the outer corner. Now I'm taking the shade Ready by MAC, which is this really nice red shade. It's a little bit deeper, and that's what I wanted for this look. I didn't want it to be too bright. It's also not a matte shadow, so it has a little bit of a shine to it. And I'm just packing this all over that area that we put the concealer. Now taking this glitter, it is the ultra fine glitter that you can find at the craft store, and this one is so stunning. It's almost like a red and green duo chromatic glitter it's so so pretty and i just primed my eye with some nyx glitter glue and putting it right on top now i'm just taking max brush stroke liner in black and creating a small wing this is just going to make it look a little bit more completed and it's going to ground the whole look Then I'm just applying some MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash to my top lashes. And for falsies, I am using the Ilor Nicole Guerrero Foam Ink ones. And this is my first time using them, and they are absolutely stunning. So I definitely recommend them. Now for foundation, I'm taking the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Foundation. This has been my favorite one lately. It just stays on so well, and it is the only foundation that will not settle in my smile lines, so I totally dig it for that reason alone. Now I'm applying MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in the shade NW15. It's the same one that I use to prime my eyes. And I'm applying this under the eyes, around the nose, around the mouth, and on any kind of like acne spots that I may have, just to give myself a little bit more coverage and to also highlight down the center of my face.
Then I am just setting my face with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in shade number 5. And I love this powder so much. It just makes the skin look super, super smooth. And I am all for it. Then I'm putting some Fix Plus on just to reduce the look of powderiness. And then I'm taking shade number 3 from the Earth palette and mixing it with shade number 8. And I am smoking out my lower lash line. Now I'm taking Becca's Champagne Pop on a small little packing brush and I am putting this in my inner corner to highlight and add a touch of gold. Then just coating my bottom lashes with some mascara and moving on to contour. I am taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. This is my beloved, obviously because I have hit pan on three of the shades, which never happens. And I'm taking the bottom two, the lightest two um, contour shades, and I'm using the cooler tone one to legitimately contour, and then taking the warmer one to kind of bronze the skin. And then I kind of mix the top two lighter colors to clean up any of the bronzer if it has gotten either too low on my cheekbones or to clean up the nose and just kind of diffuse it. Now taking my Chanel blush in the shade So Close, this is from their Holiday 2017 collection, and I'm just applying this on my cheekbones with a Wet n Wild blush brush. Now I am going back into Champagne Pop and highlighting my cheekbones, my nose, the tops of my eyebrows, Cupid's bow, and a little bit on my chin. Then I'm spraying on some Fix Plus yet again just to melt everything all together. And now I'm taking NYX's Slide On Glide On Lip Liner in the shade Revolution. And I am lining my lips and also filling them in. And I'm filling them in with Maybelline's Matte Metallic Lipstick. This is shade number 986. It is the green one. And just applying this all over the lips. Okay guys, and that is the finished look. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Have a happy holiday, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.